by the beautiful sea. You and I, you and I, oh how happy we'll be. When each wave comes a rolling in, we will duck or swim, and we'll float and fool around the water over and under. Then up for air, Ma is rich, Ma is rich, so now what do we care? I love to be beside your side, beside the sea, beside the seaside, by the beautiful sea, by the sea, by the sea, by the beautiful sea, you and I, you and I, oh how happy we'll be, when each wave comes a rolling in, we will dock or swim, and we'll float and fool around the water, over and under, and then up for air, Pa is rich, Ma is rich, so now what do we care, I love to be beside your side, beside the sea, beside the seaside, by the beautiful sea. By the sea, by the sea, by the beautiful sea, you and I, you and I, oh how happy we'll be, when each wave comes a rolling in, we will duck or swim, and we'll float and fool around the water, over and under, then up for air, Pa is rich, Ma is rich, so now what Beside your side, beside the sea, beside the seaside, by the beautiful sea, by the sea, by the sea, by the beautiful sea, you and I, you and I, oh how happy we'll be, when each wave comes a rolling in, we will duck or swim, and we'll float and fool around the water, over and under. Is rich, Ma is rich, so now what do we care? I love to be beside your side, beside the sea, beside the seaside, by the beautiful sea. Hi, Ukulele Mike here. Look what I found just this past weekend at an antique mall. I was looking for old sheet music and uh, particularly old Hawaiian or ukulele sheet music and lying next to the sheet music, this one stack of sheet music, was this ukulele. And it's an old harmony. Um, I went online and checked this little decal because every decade the harmony had a slightly different design for the decal. It says harmony, uh, US patent pending, blah blah blah, uh, U Harmony Company, Chicago, USA. And this particular design indicated, according to this site, that this was made in the 40s. So we're talking 60 plus years. On the back, you'll see these, what they call the Art Deco tuners. These uh, ivory plastic tuners. Kind of look like dials on an old radio. Um, and then it also says, made of genuine mahogany. And it's totally solid, no laminate at all. Um, typically when you find old ukes in a antique shop you'll find that they have cracked uh, bridges and, or nuts and bridges there's cracks in the body the neck might be warped whatever this is like it was impeccable and it had four strings on it so I could tell what it sounded like uh, basically they were really new strings so they were kind of going out of tune so I got it home cleaned it up put some new Aquila strings on it and now four days later it's finally settling into place and I'm getting used to the feel of it because I typically play a tenor uke not a soprano so anyway I thought it was appropriate to use this on By the Beautiful Sea this tune written by Harold Atteridge and Harry Carroll uh, in 1914 and to put that in historical perspective that was two years after the sinking of the Titanic 
It's the year that World War I started, and it's one year away from the Pan-Pacific Exposition in San Francisco, where Hawaii had a pavilion and showed off to the mainland states the ukulele. And shortly after that exposition, the ukulele exploded. People were buying them all over the place, and uh, they were playing them on college campuses and at the beach, and seaside resorts were springing up all over the place. So this song by the Beautiful Sea would have been one of the typical tunes to have been played on the ukulele. And in those days, pr primarily, they all had soprano ukes. You rarely saw the tenors or the concerts. You mostly saw sopranos. And then also the banjo lele, which is the uh, banjo form of the ukulele. Anyway, by the beautiful sea, uh, it's in 4 4 time. And I'm playing a strum, it's just a shuffle. By the sea, by the sea, by the beautiful sea. Now, when I do this down, up, down, up strum with just my index finger, that's one way to do it. Or you can go a uh, thumb. You can trade off with the index finger. Uh, you want to accent the back beat. So you have down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. There's your accented beat. By the sea, by the sea, by the beautiful sea, and so forth. That's a G7th chord. Then you go to a G augmented, and it just comes in for one beat. And the G augmented, the index finger is on the second fret of the first string, the middle finger is over here on the third fret of the third string, and the ring finger is on the second fret of the second. And then it goes to a C chord. And then it goes. G seventh, C sharp diminished, G seventh. I love that progression. And then it goes back to C. We'll float around the water over and under and then up for air. Pa is rich. There's your G augmented. Pa is rich. And the G augmented is oftentimes represented with a plus sign. G plus. Pa is rich, Ma is rich, so now what do we care? F chord. I love to be. There's the E flat diminished. Beside the be your side, beside the C. That always is a tongue twister. I love to be beside your side, beside the C. And then beside the C seventh, there's your D seventh, the D seventh chord, G seventh. Now I'm playing my D seventh like this. Middle fingers on the second fret of the fourth string, ring fingers on the second fret of the second string, and then go to G seventh by the beautiful C. Now, a little note about that E flat diminished. I've got the index finger on the second fret of the fourth, the middle finger on the second fret of the second, the ring finger on the third fret of the third, and the pinky on the third fret of the first. And there's your E flat diminished. Now there are only three diminished chords. First fret, second fret, and third fret, and then they start all over again. They just repeat. Now if you come across a diminished chord in a tune, uh, you can play one of these three and you're, you're going to be right one out of three times. And if it's not that, then try one of the other frets. Now uh, every diminished chord has multiple names. And so that can be kind of confusing. So what I suggest is that you, when you're learning a song and you've established what fret to play the diminished chord in, and I always uh, figure it out in terms of what fret the index finger's in. So this would be the second fret. This would be the first fret. Okay. Then I just write second fret. So when I come back to the tune and I come back to that diminished chord, whatever it is, A flat diminished or F sharp diminished or G diminished or whatever, I will, when I have indicated the fret number, then I just know which fret to go to. Eventually you start to memorize them. But you don't play them frequently enough to memorize them um, unless you've played over a period of time. And all these old timey songs from this uh, uh, Yester a Year songbook have a lot of diminished chords in it. And uh, so By the Beautiful Sea is in that collection along with a ton of other old-timey songs um, that do have these really beautiful uh, and classy little diminished chords and ninth chords and sixth chords and whatnot. You can really increase your chord vocabulary by 
working through that collection. So there you have it by the beautiful sea. Have fun with it and happy strumming. By the sea, by the sea, by the beautiful sea, you and I, you and I, oh how happy we'll be when each wave comes around.